good afternoon friends while it's easy to fall in love with uh, at first sight and first impressions are the best impressions we need to be minded of the fact that our long term benefits and sustainable relationships it's important for us not only to create positive perceptions but also reinforce them through reality based actions and then actualize a positive loop of the action my friend today i'll be talking about perception management it is the one important thing in today's world perception management is the practice of ensuring the message you wish to send it is understood by the specific individuals or groups you want to reach it also means influencing how people interpret what others say about you it also means influencing how people interpret your perception about their perception about yourself and this can be managed how do you think firstly think how do you think you are perceived you first need to clarify and define how do you think often uh, perceives you the first step must come first because any number of factors can skew up these observations individuals commonly experience self serving biases this means attributing success to internal achievement and failure to external obstacles individuals strategically employ the self serving bias to maintain and protect positive self views when the, when this combine among individuals in any organization it can result in a group thinking simplest term a culture of yes man when this happen strongly cohesive terms actually serve their organizational detrimentally teams that encourage a productive level of informed uh, a decent and independent independence have greater immunity to group think how are you actually perceived it's an important thing check the accuracy of your organizational uh, self perception so the traditionally the, the, the achieved uh, observations and results is that they extended into a web resource and modern technology internet uh, solicitations needs to be ostentatious yet eye catching whole book covers uh, the ways to uh, assess public perceptions of yourself or your institution or your organization the most important thing uh, to remember is by performing the process you already influence how the public perceives you how do you want to be perceived that's another factor the second step i would say first was how do you think you are perceived be clear on that then how do you like to be uh, per, uh, perceived by others this is a simple maths i would say what is the difference between your organizational self perception and the actual public perception of your of your of your organization if they match that does not mean you need do nothing it means you need to reinforce that perception if they do not match then does not mean you are into a trouble even they differ tremendously you have just learned where you are and where you need to be then how do you change those perceptions you must tell your story you must have a mis- uh, had misplaced priorities suddenly seems the uh, light and now work better for the public good telling the story involves actions as well as exposition that can be a uh, corporate sponsorship better for the public good do consumers see you as a proficient underachiever for something past bad marketing choices that quickly turns into an underdog story uh, fighting against some 
market jagger or not if things had been bad enough particularly if your concern, uh, concern is individual you may have to take the leap into a full fledged regulation regulation management this means going beyond how you frame your own story to distracting audience from negativity perception management there uh, specific perce perception management events perception management e is often used by an organization in the follow in the major events like uh, like i would say dealing with perfection uh, threatening events which includes uh, such events as scandals accidents uh, product failure controversial identity changes un, un upcoming uh, performances reviews and an introduction to a new identity or a vision then dealing with perception enhancing events which includes such as positive uh, or, or negative ranking or rating by industry groups work in hardship and achievements of desired goals why uh, perception management is so important for today's uh, world or the corporate or the business or any institution you see the world the real world examines it's full of examples of successful per perception management if you uh, watch clear, uh, closely it's not only corporate but also any other entities who have to manage perceptions uh, during the uh, corporate careers we cannot we came across situation where it was uh, important for our employees to manage the employees perception about employees perception uh, uh, perception about the employees an employer's perception about the employees both ways for instance right from the design uh, of the lobby where visitors could be received and to the uh, pipe music that was being played the employees ensured that both employees and visitors had a positive perception and the uh, ambient atmosphere uh, meant that it was uh, irrespective of what the reality was at least the perceptions were certainly positive i have seen a bank manager there was a crisis of some money uh, people was uh, thinking that money there is no money in the bank and people are worried they are losing their deposits and i believe i saw that bank manager displaying a wad of notes and bundles of currency notes on a table for everyone to convince uh, the panicked customer that their money was safe and in this way irrespective of whether that uh, was the reality whether the bank uh, had the money or not the bank manager very successfully ensured that the situation was handled by a droid perception management great example reality has to match with the image that must be uh, substance to the hype having said that it's also not the case that the enough to manage uh, perception in the immediate of short term or without creating longer terms advantages moreover in our electronic and digital uh, media driven world this is often easy to manage perception rather than creating long long term and deep and durable uh, narratives indeed with the power of the visual media where a picture uh, speaks a thousand words it is called it is clear that perceptions can easily be managed and even hyped in all this intoxicating information or transmit transmission and consumption often the viewers and the readers are the victim of the information information warfare influence explosion through through perception management and hence from a purely ethical point of view there must be limit of uh, perception uh, management or otherwise there is a risk of losing the plot altogether the promise and the perils of the perception management in digital age is also again it's there indeed in the present digital age perception management and information warfare have been become so rampant that sometimes it's difficult to separate from myth from the fact and image from the reality this is where astute markets and business tenders uh, leaders can uh, step in and ensure that there is a substance to go with the study the story and there is a uh, narrative to go with the branding in other words to create longer term value and truly uh, sub uh, sustainable organizations and marketing campaigns these leaders 
can deliver on the promise and ensure the reality matches the image my friends in times of extreme completion complete perception management becomes all important for individuals of uh, and the corporates all entities to focus on this subject and see that the image is sent is perfect and right thank you very much